So for me, it's about really understanding other people. We'll talk a bit more about rapport in, in a few moments. Um, but there's another level of rapport that I talk about. Whenever I go into organisations and talk to business owners or to salespeople, and that is rapport within yourself. Because if there is a part of you that knows doing a certain activity is definitely going to bring you more sales, close more sales, get you more rentals, you know, turn more inquiries into actual business. If there's something you know that is absolutely going to do that, so you know if you go in that direction it will work, but there's something inside you that hates doing it or doesn't want to, pulling your back this way, how likely are you to give that 100%? Yeah. Impossible. And you know, we've all got those things that we don't particularly like doing. And my guess, if you're anything like me and the other people that I've talked to, is that, you know, I really do want to do that, but let's go and make a cup of coffee. Or let's do that bit of filing. Or let's just make that other phone call. Let's call that client, or let's do anything except do that. Distract them. Yeah, it's a yeah, it's just an avoidance strategy, and we can all do that with stuff we don't like. And so, when it's okay if that happens occasionally, you know, we can all be guilty of not being in the right frame of mind to do a particular thing. But if it's happening on an ongoing basis, you need to explore what that is that's holding you back. And whilst this masterclass isn't going to cover necessarily how to get rid of those barriers, what I will tell you is this. When you have stuff that is holding you back, for you there will be something positive in not doing that thing. And if you can identify what that positive element is, what that benefit is that you get from not doing it, then you are more likely to be able to address it. Now, as business owners, you've got a lot more choice than um, somebody who is in employment. So, there are certain things that you can change within your business. But some things still need to be done, and you need to learn to love those things in order to succeed. So if picking up the phone and making cold calls is not something that you love doing, learn how to make it more enjoyable. So for me, you know, when I, I employed a lot of people that did um, telemarketing, and I used to say to them, where else can you get paid for chatting to people on the telephone? Picking up the phone is a conversation. You guys pick up the phone every day, loads of times a day, and I bet you don't think twice about it if you're talking to somebody who you know or you're making an inquiry. Well, you know, if you're making a cold call, it's exactly the same. It's just an exploratory conversation. And remember that if your outcome is to get a sale at the end of every telephone conversation, I would say get real. Because that is an impossibility. But as soon as you look at it as starting a relationship with somebody and exploring whether there is any synergy between you, then it becomes a very different thing. And for all the techniques that we're going to talk about today, that's all it is about. It's about relationship building. It's about understanding the other person so that you can give them what they want. And let me tell you, that is the biggest, biggest advice in terms of getting rid of this. If you change the frame of what you're doing, that gets rid of loads of barriers.